So this is the force acting inclined downward. Acting inclined downward means the force is actually acting towards the joint. So that means the nature of the force is compressive. And here force acting towards right. So on this joint A, acting towards right means the force is acting away from the joint. So the nature of the member force is tensile. So in that way, gradually we can do this thing. Whether you take the help of this, that doesn't matter. If your common sense and experience is good enough, naturally you can solve it directly by framing those equations of equilibrium sigma fx0, sigma fy0. And for this force FAC, you will find that it's coming as some negative value. So initially we assume all forces are tensile acting at the joint away from the joint and solve it in that way. So these are the individual vector polygons for four force system, for three force system, etc. Next thing, this connection of these members could be extended for many number of members and many number of joints. And these are some example of such thing. One, two, three, four, five, six horizontal members connected at their end to end by frictionless hinges or pins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inclined members at different inclination. This one, two and three, they are at same inclination with the horizontal. This one, four, five and six, they are also at same inclination. If the structure is symmetric, geometrically it is symmetric about this center line, then these three and these three will make equal angles with the horizontal. One is in this direction, other is in this direction and clockwise and clockwise. Now one, two, three, four, five, there are four, uh, uh, five vertical members and two more sets of inclined members. This one and this one at same inclination with the horizontal clockwise and clockwise. This member and this member the same inclination with the horizontal clockwise and clockwise. And this is forming that symmetric structure. Supports. Overall external supports, one is a hinge support, other is the roller support, so that if there is some possibility, some allowance is there, it will roll along this horizontal plane. Only reaction will be vertical upward, only reaction not necessarily to be vertical upward, it depends on the applied load. For vertical upward or downward load, there will be only vertical upward or downward reaction here. But if there is any inclined load or horizontal load, definitely it will provide some horizontal component of reaction. So since long, I couldn't hear any sound from your side. Uh, can anybody please confirm me whether my voice is? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now here, another such kind of connected members giving some support to some system. Here is another. Now this type of thing you have seen in so many places. Can you remember? Railway cross. Railway station over bridges. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Level crossing like thing. Some overhead bridges are there. They could be long bridges also. So how do we? Uh, a bit of. To, for a ground, ground level, pe ground, ground floor, first floor, mein abhi itna multi state mein mat chad. Hai? Ye thoda chota mota bridge or calvert ke mare mein mein abhi baat kar raha hu. bridge ke mein baad mein. Now you will find okay, these, these things are not given as this type of joints. If you have seen the railway line over bridges or railway station over bridges, you will find actually. Uh, several rebates or pin connections are there. But these things are simplified diagrams for analysis. This type of bridge, this type of bridge, this one, no vertical members, only inclined members are there. Here it is a symmetric inclination this side outward, inclination this side outward. Here inclination this side inward with respect to this line of symmetry. So lots of such Connections in the form of example you can find around you. Now this is 
suppose this is some factory shed or workshop shed. OK. Now the trust you are getting, which is visible. Here. There is no such single trust. One after other behind it, another behind it, another behind it in different parallel and all vertical planes, different such. Identical trusses are placed supported on these vertical members connected, of course, horizontally so that they doesn't collapse. And now these individual trusses which have been placed, they are connected by some horizontal members through this joint, through this joint horizontally and towards the plane of this paper. OK. And this type of thing coming as Rup said, or the previous examples as bridge structures, these are the normal examples of this thing. These are called trusses. And for forming this truss, we need to understand one thing. Now, if we just make it bigger, if we consider such connected members to form a frame, four members are there. A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A connected at their ends by frictionless hinges or pins. Here is some a support at A, here is some support at D. And we apply some force at B, then what happens? It happens like this, it collapses. In some previous class, we were talking about our early childhood village kids that using uh, used to write on slates or slate pencils with. So there, this is the frame which holds that slate. A rectangle formed by four members connected at their ends. But if this inside material, that plate, that slate is not there, it is broken. Bachpan mein hum to bohut sare tore the. So what happens? It is free now. And if we apply any force, it will collapse like this thing. If we apply any lateral force, it will collapse like a parallelogram like thing. So such kind of things to avoid that so that we can form a real structure to carry some load, to transfer some load, we make this thing. Now this cannot collapse. OK, so three members connected by three joints at their ends by frictionless hinges. This is the primary cell and this cell is extended like this. So ABC was the primary cell. Then we increase two more members by this connection. So it gives another cell BCD. Next thing. We can form in that similar way. Here you will find, some, find something different. AC, CF, FG and GA. These are four member cell here you'll find, but you cannot collapse it. Because it has been generated by this fixed location A, by this fixed location C and this by this fixed location F, so that two more members AG and FG are connected at their joint G. OK. So suppose BDE were the primary cell, then we increase it with BC and CD connecting here, then you increase by two more members BA and AC, then two more members CF and DF, etc. OK. Now. For this. Formation. If number of joints indicated by small J and number of members are indicated by small N. And for this case, uh, the previous one, three is the J value and three is the M value. For this case, what about the number of members? For this case, number five, of members? Five. 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 Number of joints? Five. Four. Number four. of joints? Four. 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 Now, four if, we, if we add one more, 
suppose here is one more location E and C E and D E are connected by this joint. Suppose it is E. So how many members are now? Seven. Seven. One, two, three. Seven. Plus two plus two. Seven members. How many joints? Five. Five. Five joints. Three plus one, four plus one, five at E. Now, can you tell me any relation between these rigid framework? A possible M plus R is equal to 2J. M is number of members, J is number of joints. R is number of reaction support. Reaction ke baare mein main baat nahi kar raha hu, beta. Yes, I am talking about what wherever may be the support it is provided. Support may be at A and at D. It may be at B and at A, one hinge, another ruler. I am talking about this rigid framework which will not collapse in this way. So start from ABC, extend it for one more joint D, then extend one more joint E. So three and three per member a joint here. Five and four. Then seven and five. So two J minus three. Two J minus three. So that relation relation is very important. M is equal to twice J minus three for a primary framework. Now for analysis, we make some assumption. Now, can anybody read it? Members are weightless, connected at their ends by frictionless hinges. Axis of all bars lie in one plane, called the middle plane of the truss. All forces acting on the truss are applied at the hinges, only and also lie in the plane of the truss. Better, there is no comma between hinges and only. It is. All forces acting on the truss are applied at the hinges only. And also lie in the plane of the truss. It's not like that. You apply some force perpendicular to this plane acting at this hinge. It will just simply tumble it laterally. But the forces are in that plane which contains these members. So just to hold a minute, I join.
Okay, better. So we are here regarding these assumptions that members are weightless. Now this is the plane truss idealized. Members are weightless, connected at their ends by frictionless hinges only. Axis of all bars lie in one plane called the middle plane of the truss. And in book you will find the diagrams are normally shown by these lines, very thin lines, which is called the axis of the members. Now all forces acting on the truss are applied at the hinges only and also lie in the plane of the truss. सर चले गए क्या भाई लीविंग किधर आए नेट का इशू सर के फिर से भाई किसने निकाला भाई सर का नेट का इशू है ना नेट का इशू है शायद ये निकल गया सर सर पढ़ा रहे होंगे और पीछे से सर डिस्कनेक्ट हो गए सर को पता भी नहीं चला होगा हां नहीं वैसे थोड़ी वो मैसेज आता है तो आई लेफ्ट द मीटिंग ओ सर सर बैकग्राउंड में आता है ना वो तो सर तो अपनी स्प्रेडशीट या जो भी हां तो स्क्रीन शेयर करके पढ़ा रहे हैं वो कैसे पता हां सर तो दूसरा टैब में है स्क्रीन मुझे लग रहा है कि हो सकता है कि मुझे किसने किसी ने लिया था सर सॉरी कैन यू कैन यू हियर मी नाउ यस सर को कोई निकाल नहीं सकता यस सर यस सर आई गॉट डिस्कनेक्टेड सो प्लीज डोंट माइंड तो यस सर नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट आइडियलाइज्ड ट्रस्ट सो यू कैन सी योर फाइल शेयर सर प्लीज स्क्रीन शेयर this here yeah. screen okay just just to hold a minute I, i'll share it okay sir no yes sir so visible visible is it visible now yes sir yes sir so this is the primary concern about these members the connection the primary relation for the simple truss this is the basic cell then we go on increasing this number of members m is equal to twice j minus 3 and suppose we try to solve this problem a simple example One, two, three horizontal members A, C, C, E, and E, H. Inclined members A, B, B, D, D, F at same angle. Inclined two more members F, G, and G, H at same angle. One, two, three, four other inclined members at different inclination, and there is one vertical member. But there is no line of symmetry. Geometrically, it is not symmetric. So you cannot say that reaction. Uh, due to all vertical downward forces there will be vertical upward reactions only at a so that you cannot say it will be simply half of the total applied load so how to find it just do one thing consider point a as moment center and develop that equation of equilibrium for moment equilibrium sigma ma is equal to 0 will give you 2 kN multiplied by 4 meter clockwise 2 kN multiplied by 8 meter clockwise Plus 1.75 kilonewton multiplied by 12 meter clockwise. Similarly, here also 1.5 kilonewton and the last 1.75 kilonewton. 
Okay, and this distance is as shown. Next, R H multiplied by this distance, 18 meter. It will balance that developed moment due to the applied load, and this thing acting anticlockwise. So from that equation, where there is only one unknown that is in the form of the vertical component of reaction at H. Naturally, it will be only vertical component because it is roller. So you can find out that R H. Now there is no R A horizontal component, only R A vertical component, and you can repeat that same process. If you consider H as moment center, then sigma M H is equal to zero will give you one kilonewton multiplied by 18 meter and clockwise, two kilonewton multiplied by 14 meter and clockwise, two kilonewton multiplied by 10 meter and clockwise, 1.75 by 6 meter anticlockwise, 1.5 by 3 meter anticlockwise, there is no contribution because this force is passing through the point H only. Next thing, the same RA vertical multiplied by 18 meter, this is clockwise. So once we have this thing, we can uh, proceed towards determination of the internal forces. Okay. Now, before going to that part, I need to take your attendance because that is also important thing. How many members are there? 147. <laughs> Now, do you get that file again? Sir. So, yes, sir. Th there are two methods. We start with method of joints, where we draw the free body diagram of every joint, considering its equilibrium, which is subjected to applied force, reaction developed if possible at that point, and forces developed in the members, that is in terms of the forces offered by the members on the joint. Suppose we talk about the joint A. Here is the reaction RA. This is the applied load 1 kilonewton. Assuming member forces are tensile, so naturally forces offered by the member on the joint, it will be trying to pull it, the joint, in this direction. So we give this type of nomenclature S for the member force subscript ac means the force in the member ac and here it will be force sab now how many unknowns are there this is known applied force this is the uh, calculated reaction force vertical component of reaction force at a from the overall equilibrium of the structure and these are the forces developed in the member ac and ab only two unknowns are there. You can write down two independent homogeneous equations from sigma fx0, sigma fy0, or any other uh, suitable direction you assume and find the components for those directions and get the algebraic summation that is equal to zero for equilibrium. So find SAC and SAB. Then what about the next step? Once this joint A is solved, we proceed to joint B because this joint B gives us this force known in terms of SAB. Okay. And here only two unknown member forces are left. This one force in the member BC and this one force in the member BD. Other one two kilonewton is the applied force at the hinge only. Okay. But from solving this joint A, we do not proceed to joint C because this member will be known now, but three unknown member forces are there for member BC, member CD, and member CE. So this is the 
right joint where we should proceed from after solving this joint A. OK, so when you go to joint B, it comes like this. Applied force to kilonewton, there is no reaction developed, there is no support. Only three members are connected. This SAB is already determined, only two unknowns. But one thing, you need to find out the directions. What about the directions? To get the directions, we use this thing. For this triangle AEF, the perpendicular is EF, that divided by base is 12 meter. So 6 meter divided by 12 meter, so 10 theta is 0 0.5. So you can find that angle. But what about angle made by this line BC with the horizontal or vertical? This is simple geometrical problem or geometrical. Triangle ACD is uh, isosceles. 6 by 12 will give us the angle BAC and uh, tan theta by using that and this angle is what we found. Now these lengths are same. Is it okay? A, B, B, D and D, F. We confusion. Now if these no, lengths are same, then what about this height of this location B, D and F? They are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3 or something like that. So if it is 6 meter, then naturally it will be 4 meter and this height will be 2 meter. So that is also another clue. OK, yes, so, sir. whatever, yes, sir. You, whatever you, uh, you need to find out this angle. OK, once you get it, then sigma fx0 will give you SAB multiplied by cosine theta negative zero contribution from two kilonewton SBD multiplied by cosine theta and this angle is no more theta. This is something different. Suppose it is alpha. So SB, SBC multiplied by cosine alpha. So known SAB and two unknowns then form sigma f is equal to zero minus 2 kilonewton minus SAB sine theta plus SBD sine theta minus SBC sine alpha or whatever name you provide for this angle. OK, now once you solve this joint B, then where we are up to? B is solved. Now we can proceed to joint C because AC and BC are already determined then only two unknowns are remaining, CD and CE. But from this joint B, we cannot proceed to joint D because BD is known. But CD, DE and DF, three unknown are there. For concurrent coplanar force system, you can solve only for maximum number of two unknowns for this freeway diagram and corresponding uh, equilibrium equations, etc. OK, so first step, Solve joint A. Doubt. Hello? Sir, one doubt is there. Where? Uh, sir, how are you determining the direction of the forces at any joint? Sir, that is a doubt. Along, along the member only. Sir, along the member is fine, but uh, it is outward, inward, sir, that confusion is there. Like, how are you determining it? We, we don't need to think it from the beginning. We are assuming every forces are tensile. Member is under tension means at the joint, the force will be away from the joint. We take it up, we solve it. When you get some negative value for anything, any, mem uh, any member for any force, it will be automatically compressive. OK, sir. OK. Sir. OK. So first solve for A, then for B. Once you solve joint B, then you proceed to joint C. Now at joint C, you will get this free body diagram. No applied force. Four members are there. AC, BC, CD and CE. Out of them, this is known AC and this is known for BC. Only two unknowns and you can find it. Now it will be easier to solve because SCD is the inclined force out of these two unknowns and SC is horizontal force. So in that equation, sigma FY is equal to zero. 
there is no contribution from ASE, no contribution from ACE, only thing contribution from SBC, which is known. Then SBC multiplied by cosine, uh, sine of this angle positive. Plus SCD multiplied by sine of this angle, that is also positive. There in that equation, only one unknown is there, force in the member CD. OK, now once joint C is solved, then where we need to move? We need to move to D because BD and CD are solved. Then we solve the unknowns DF and ED. So that is for the fourth joint, joint D. At joint D, there is one applied force, 2 kN vertical downward. BD and CD are solved. Only two unknowns are remaining there, which is very easily we can solve. Only thing we should know the geometry. That is the inclination of these members. And geometrically or trigonometrically, it is very simple to determine. That is no big issue. So in that way, we gradually approach for the next and next. Now, once this A, B, C, D are solved, then we move to joint F. Only two unknowns, F, E and F, G member forces will be there. Then you come here. Then C, E, D, E and E, F are known. Two unknowns are there, only EG and EH. Done. So finally, we move to joint H also. And in a tabular form, we present the result that a member in the form of their names, AB, AC, BC, etc. Write down the magnitude of the member forces in Newton, kilonewton, whatever maybe the units are given there in the problem. Then in next column, you write down the nature of the forces, whether the members under tension or under compression, so that compressive and tensile natures will be written properly. And very easily you can check. Considering all forces are tensile, you assume at the beginning, then you solve it, you get anything negative, it will be compressive and fill the table in that way without making any mistake. So should this work to be submitted? Not this one. This is for our discussion. And for your understanding, OK? And you need to supplement or complement this discussion through any or many book where from you procure that is your business. You can get some hard copy through online. You can get some soft copy, free downloadable. You can purchase soft copy. If at your house you find some old book racks having some book on engineering mechanics, that is also you can say or other friends also can help you just taking the uh, snaps of their material and uh, sending to you what it may be just go through the solved example first that is very important build up your confidence here is another one suppose we need to find out the force developed at this joint f so for that what we need to do we have class sir from that I understand, but this is 1052 only. And if you allow three more minutes, will be uh, will it be very much difficult for you? Uh, no, sir, no, sir. Do you think better? So this is also another system of trust, maybe looking like some culvert or small bridge like thing. So many vertical members, series of horizontal members connected by this symmetrically inclined uh, members. There is some geometrical symmetry. But structurally, loading wise, it is not symmetric. It's not like that. Central 12 kN and on the right hand side 12 kN, on the left hand side 12 kN, it's not like that. So reactions will be not of same value. For that, easiest way, sigma m is equal to zero about any suitable point, find the reaction on the other support, and you can use now sigma fy is equal to zero. So minus 12 minus 12 plus rj, that is uh, including this one also. Uh, RB that is zero and you can find out that. Now one thing. Can you understand this thing? Only 
what he did here that is actually suppose we take a big gigantic scissor which can cut this frame we cut it along this plane and indicate the members plan. through which the cutting plane is passing member ac member cd and member df and these cut members are here c joint is not available e joint is not available you have cut this this part members but when you are cutting any member you have to represent that member force also and this is the representation of this member force through that member ac the dc and most likely the joint is e here on the right hand side uh, f rather so member forces are here sac sdc and sdf this is the developed reaction at support b and now the system is coplanar but non concurrent so you can go for three equations and you can solve three unknowns so these three unknowns you can solve and without solving by method of joints solve the joint b first then you proceed for a then you proceed for d just neglecting all these extra steps or stages of calculation or computation directly we can solve for any intermediate member similar thing happens if you are asked to find out the uh, find out to force uh, find out the force in the member cf then simply cut it this member not only it cut this member cf it will cut this member c and df also you cut it draw the fibroid diagram of one side of that and show the member forces along the inclination of these members one horizontal c one horizontal sdf and here the inclined etc so tension compression initially you do not know you need only to indicate the tensile forces assume and after solving but this method is very useful when this stress is quite long and you have to find out some intermediate member so you don't need to move sequentially solve joint b then a then c then d then f etc not in that way okay so this is the method of section and in our next class we will discuss in detail about all these things method of joints and method of sections here are some simple example horizontal support reaction perpendicular to this wall this roller is fitted here here is the horizontal force so you can find out rb and rc not necessarily it will be a single horizontal force only it may be different next thing this one the same vertical wall providing the support with one hinge one roller but force is not horizontal it is vertical downward so such things you need to go through this is another expression now support is not provided at the ends these are overhanging part this is another thing so many types of examples will be there and there are different name, names for bridge truss or roof truss pratt truss howe truss so many here is another section we are cutting here these three members we can solve eg fg and eh in this way the reaction from initial overall equilibrium okay the force is here applied in this direction method of section cut it indicate the three forces for this df ef and eg this is for df this is for ef and this is for eg reactions vertical horizontal okay so please have some look through any book and go through these plain truss by method of joints and method of sections and there you get so many good information build up your confidence and try some problems at the end of the chapter and you will get sir symmetric city works sir pardon symmetric sir if picture is symmetric sir then we can just put it one is physics one is physics other is mathematics mathematics has been developed to solve the problem on physics so first you understand the basic physics about the problem then mathematics whatever way you solve it 
matrix that is also nothing new simply arranging those equations it can come from the equation only equations are not coming from the matrix 